Day 3 of the Trans-Siberia Rally powered by Sony Ericsson has begun and word has spread. It's unbelievable for the drivers how well they're welcomed. Long roads through no man's land with only the sound of the engine and the co-pilot. The 986 km long stage from Kazan to Ekaterinburg will be the longest distance for the drivers. Next up for all the participants, a special task that's a bit more fun. A 10 km long gravel road where speed is the key. Today's stage is very different to the ones uh, from the days before because it's only 10 kilometers long, it's on gravel road, there's no mud, and it's a fast, uh, short stage. Here are the results of the day and you can bet there will be more action to come on Stage 4 to Tumen. What happens when the Trans-Siberia Rally meets a thunderstorm? Mud. Everywhere and in some places knee-high bogging down part of Day 3. Two to three hours ago, a thunderstorm passed through this area and soaked the entire route. For safety reasons, we have to cancel this stage. I guess that they did the right decision because the, the car of the doctors couldn't pass. But a good rally driver wouldn't be a good rally driver if he didn't know how to handle difficult situations. Okay. <laughs> it's not just about driving skill, it's about special equipment. We have our special fog glasses. <laughs> and I think this next stage we're going to be fastest. For sure. Eh, uh, yeah guys, right. We'll let them work on their motivation and hope for the best on stage five. It's off to Omsk. <laughs>